Las Vegas real estate market seven weeks after coronavirus. What should buyers and sellers do in the corona-infected Las Vegas real estate market today? I wanted to wait for a while before checking what is going on with our corona-infected Las Vegas real estate market so I could base this video on real data and it was surprising. It is about seven weeks since the COVID-19 was detected in Las Vegas on March 5th and one month since the first corona death in, Las in Nevada. Governor Sisolak's stay-at-home order and other commands were issued on April 1st or 15 days ago, which hit the state like a ton of bricks. Corona has been a life-changing experience for many, and when it comes to our investors, worries and fears have set in. We have been working with Las Vegas real estate investors since 2011, and even the wealthy investors who have paid cash for their investments were extremely distraught. Well, it is not the end of the world yet, at least in the short term. But before we go on any further, I should disclose that we are eternal optimists. In any real estate market, supply and demand reign supreme. Regardless of any situation, only one number controls residential real estate pricing, and it is the months of listing inventory. It is calculated by dividing the number of listings that are not under contract or active listings by the monthly sales numbers. While four to five months of listing inventory are considered normal, two to two and a half months of listing inventory leads to significant price gains. This table shows the housing market statistics for Southern Nevada, which includes the Las Vegas Metro, plus a few small towns for March 2020. The active listing inventory of homes in March stood at 5,687, which is about 20% less than the same time a year ago. The sales numbers surpassed last year's sales results by 5.2%, and the median price appreciated by 6.3%. Lastly, the all-important months of listing inventory was at 2.1 months. This is the perfect recipe for significant price appreciations, even though at least 15 days of it was under the coronavirus cloud. And while not as good as expected in normal conditions, it is still pretty good. If the trends continued, it would lead to serious price hikes. In our last Las Vegas housing market video, Unusual Las Vegas Real Estate Market Forecast for 2020 video, we had pre predicted an 8 to 10% price gain for homes that are priced below the FHA loan limit, and we were well on our way. Now the bad news. This graph shows home sales since January 2019. As of April 15th, we have about 6,335 homes for sale. On the other hand, home sales in April have dropped to 926 for the first 15 days, and if the trends continue, we'll have about 1,800 home sales for April. 2019 wasn't a great year as far as sales were concerned, and 2,878 homes sold last April, so the sales number will be down by 37% already. The months of listing inventory jumped from 2.1 months to 3.5 months in 15 days and is expected to go up. Under contract home numbers can be misleading. We currently have 2,770 units under contract, but many have a buyer that has been furloughed or laid off and banks require the borrower to have a job. So this number is misleading because the majority of sellers, including ours, have agreed to extend the contract to at least the end of April to see what happens. But most of the contracts are going to be dead in the water and eventually canceled. The number that I was interested in was not the sales numbers, but how many home listings went under contract since Corona arrived in Las Vegas and since Governor Sisolak gave the stay-at-home command on April 1st. 1,416 homes went under contract in March, and 781 units went under contract so far by April 15th, 416 in the past week. So deals are getting done, but sales numbers will go down as time goes by. What will happen in the future depends on when scientists will come up with a way to stop COVID-19 from killing patients, if not an outright cure. When that happens, societies will snap back to normal very quickly. 
We believe that it will be within three months because the world economy depends on it. However, it will take far longer for Las Vegas to fully recover as people will brave coronavirus for work, but braving it for fun is questionable. A friend who worked as a waiter on September 11th told me it took six months for Las Vegas to partially recover and a full year before full recovery. If and when the unemployment checks arrive, many people should have enough money to pay for rent or mortgage, or at least some of it. So things shouldn't get totally out of hand, but thereafter is anyone's guess. The chances are that many will lose their job permanently and have to sell their home quickly, or later as a short sale, or get foreclosed on. So listing numbers should go up significantly from very low levels before Corona, leading to price cuts. But given that borrowers have to miss four payments for the foreclosure process to start, that is going to be a few months away. So although we don't expect home prices to fall off the cliff, price reductions will be orderly and in steps. So our advice to buyers is to wait. As we can guarantee you one thing, prices will not go up. But sellers should do all they can to sell their home now. Asking list prices for Las Vegas homes have been 5 to 10% higher than comparable homes that have sold previously. Now, some of those have had price cuts. But from the inflated level, pricing a home should be lower than comparable homes that have sold previous to the coronavirus invasion. Just remember, price cuts come in steps. Those who sell sooner win, and those who sell last are going to be the biggest losers. If you are thinking about buying a home, just wait and subscribe to our channel, and we shall tell you when the time arrives. If you want to sell your home, call us at 702-478-7800. This is Karen Saberzade of Las Vegas Homes Condos and Luxury High-Rise Condos, wishing you a great day. Stay at home and be safe.